Hello everyone and welcome to this video. So today we're doing a, an analysis between FSD version 8, which is on the left hand side, that's 8.2, the latest uh, that was pushed to us in the series um, number 8 series. And on the right hand side is the version 9.1, which is the latest version that we currently have. And I want to check if um, the visualization is obviously one of those uh, critical uh, change that uh, was provided. But I wanted to see if uh, in our test route, if we had the similar uh, behavior of FSD or if there was any improvement. So we'll be analyzing a few of that footage. And I'll be pausing um, in some cases, uh, either the left screen or the right screen, uh, just so we're aligned um, as we, we are review some of those behaviors. So. As a reminder as well, FSD doesn't make the car fully autonomous. Um, in these videos, I will be taking over whenever there's something that is um, you know, not right or where we need to, um, to correct the behavior of the car. Um, all right, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's a bit different from usual. Um, and if you did, make sure to like and subscribe. Okay, so you can see on the left-hand side, version 8.2, we are already uh, taking off. So this is the first uh, left turn here. We're waiting for the car in front. Um, a bit of confusion, obviously on the on the right hand side, we don't have any car, so the car proceeds. I'll be uh, aligning these two videos at the stop sign so we can see how they're progressing. Uh, luckily in both of these situations, we didn't have any traffic. So uh, you can see the version nine is already creeping forward a little bit and then engaging itself. FSD 8.2 on the left hand side is struggling a little bit, going a little bit slower, but we did have oncoming traffic. On the right hand side, the version 9, um, we're going to get to the stop earlier, so I'm going to pause there for a few seconds while we catch up on the left. Um, and you can see here on the version 8, we have a little bit more traffic, but also some pedestrians uh, all over, um, especially this gentleman going over the barrier. So uh, you'll see in a second, he's going to cross and actually get into our path. Um, pausing on the right hand side, we're going to resume the driving um, fairly at the same time just to see how it's uh, it's taking those turns. Here you go. So on the left, you see that we're now um, having to wait for the pedestrians and off we go for both cars. So pretty, pretty similar. Um, situation and conditions are very different, obviously. Um, as you can see, we have sometimes pedestrians, we don't. On the footage for 8.2, we have a little bit of snowbank as well. So that was back in uh, February or March. Uh, but we proceed forward. Uh, both of these are doing very well in these situations. Okay, we're coming up to a stop. So I'll be trying to align those two stops um, whenever the car is ready to go. That's when I will be able to, um, to align them. So we're pausing V9 because we have a pedestrian crossing for version 8.2. There you go, we are a little bit off of that stop line, so reported. And here's the first big difference. So. On the left hand side, the version 8.2 was going onto the oncoming lane. It was really just going there and was going to continue. Version 9.1 9 was correcting itself. So although it started from the wrong uh, side or going into the wrong lane, it actually corrected itself, which is uh, very impressive. I wish it didn't go into the wrong lane in the first place, but at least it's, uh, it's some improvement that they've implemented. The next challenge here is going to be the road sign. So we're going to have a road sign closed. Um, as I said, the conditions are very different. So the road close, uh, road close sign was actually moved um, on the version 9, so it will result into a different behavior. But you can see from version 8, we're going straight on the right hand side, and then I take over. Version 9 is getting confused, it's trying to squeeze in, then realized that it can't, and eventually ended up right in front of the road sign. So I'm taking over on both of these uh, situation for version 8.2 and version 9. As you can see here on the left hand side, we're pausing version 8 since it's ahead. And I actually paused right before the stop sign. I want to see how both cars are handling the slowdown of the stop sign and then resuming there. So here we go. Nice and smooth stop. We have a full stop on version 9, not a full stop on version 8, and then version 8 is very hesitant. Uh, there's no traffic on both situation. It's really slowing down. So one of the other advantage of version 9 is that it's very confident now um, in those situations. All right, next stop here. 
we have different condition on the version 9 we have a car that is starting to get into the, the intersection the version 9 slows down and then continues so very good behavior here version 8 did very well as well but there was no traffic there so here we're gonna uh, have to have to pause uh, version 8 a little bit um, version 9 is getting a red traffic light and then we'll be able to resume and same thing I stopped it a little bit earlier on the stop sign want to see how the stop sign um, how they approach the stop sign on version 8.2 and version 9 as well. So very smooth, um, pretty much the same behavior. So I'm gonna pause version 8.2. We have some pedestrians crossing on the right hand side and then taking the turn. Very similar, very similar turn. Uh, great progress there and around the turns overall. Coming up to the next stop, we have a bit more traffic on version 8 than version 9. It clears up very quickly, but then we have a pedestrian crossing. So version 8 is going to wait for that pedestrian. We pause version 9. And it proceeds through the intersection, so pretty good. My route it requires me to enter different waypoints. Um, we, we make it more challenging if we have shorter waypoints than having to go on longer distance. So that's what we see me doing on the screens here. Gonna come up to a different stop sign here. It's empty and both cars are stopping at the, at the stop line, which is very good and proceeds forward. Both of them are stopping at that odd stop sign that is on the opposite uh, lane. So in Chicago, you have those stop signs on, right, on, on your side of the road, but also on the opposite side as a reminder. Not always, but um, a lot of them. So version eight is struggling a, bit, a little bit here. It came really early on on the stop sign and it's actually our turn, but it's still waiting. You have the car in front of us that are flashing version 9 ca caught up onto the, pa the pace and proceeds through this uh, street that doesn't have really good marking but both cars are doing pretty well. Version 9 is a little bit ahead going through that um, stop sign there and it's going to end up at the end of the road. We're going to have to change another destination so hopefully we'll have both um, vehicles synchronized so we can do more analysis. All right, this is me setting up the next destination um, and we should be able to get them back together. All right, so I'm pausing ver version nine for, for a second so we can see how the approach of the stop sign uh, is done for both versions. Here we are. Version eight is really rolling that stop sign driving over that um, a little bit over the snowbank. Version 9 is really good at that. Uh, just smooth through the, the, uh, the, the turn. Obviously we don't have any snow on version 9 yet, but we'll see how that handles. And here we come to that stop that is not like, you know, conventional. And then version 9 is getting really confused, very slow down, not sure, very cautious. Version 8 is going through, flying through it. Um, and I'm actually, um, I think a little bit Con not concerned, but I'm, I'm not understanding why is uh, version 9 so careful there. So um, I'm going to report that. And here under the bridge, the behavior is fairly similar. We're, I wish we were a little bit more centered to the lane, but both of the versions are um, aligned and proceeding through that, um, that bridge. We're gonna have a, a speed bump here coming up for both versions. I know that the um, FSD doesn't recognize it, so I'm taking over and slowing down here. Coming up to this four-way stop sign here, I'm gonna make a left. Waiting for our turn. Version nine is ready to go. Version eight as well. Very smooth turn for both of them. It's gonna move over one lane. Very nice. So um, we're getting a green traffic light for version nine. So it's proceeding through version eight is uh, a little bit behind. And we 
we're getting on the right hand side here. I'm gonna pause version nine so we, uh, we, we get a chance for version eight to uh, catch up. A little bit of snowbank there, it's going around it, very nice. Coming up to another stop sign, so we're gonna make a left turn here. Version 8 is proceeding, there's an oncoming car, so it's aligning itself. Version 9 doesn't have an oncoming car, but the positioning is pretty good. And the last stop sign here, I do the same. It's going on to an, an one way, so we shouldn't have any oncoming, oncoming traffic. And both of them are doing very well, going on the right side after the stop sign. All right, so we'll stop the analysis here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a little bit different from uh, what we do usually. I thought it would be good to have that same route uh, side by side and see how uh, the new versions are comparing. Um, if you did like, make sure to click like and subscribe and we'll do more uh, videos um, and leave a comment in the section down below. Let me know if you like those analysis, if you want me to go through them more and or maybe on big, between different uh, big releases. So thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.